Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. So you all said uh, several times that you wanted to see more EDC items and you wanted to see some flashlights, some torches and things like that. Well, you know what? I love EDC and I have an EDC item to share with you guys and gals today. And it is called the Rovivon Angel Eyes E8. <laughs> Would you look at it? Just look at it. <laughs> I can't help it. It doesn't have a blade, but I tell you what, I have a lot to say about it. I've had this thing for a few months now. Ever since it first came out, I've got to try it out. I've got to carry it, check it out. I know the features pretty well. Um, although when you switch from one flashlight to another, you can be like, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. I have this one in my pocket now, but I do like the slim design. I'm going to so show you the features. We'll run through them real quick. And there's a couple really nice things about this EDC hybrid flashlight. Now to start off right off the bat, let me just show you what it came with. It came with two really nice sturdy, uh, what do you call them? Keychains. This is the flat kind. Um, it is, it is sturdy, A and it also has a pocket clip, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, it does work very well. I took it off for the purpose of this video and something that's really, really cool, which is very nice. Where's it at? It is a USB-C charger, not the mini, the USB-C, which is absolutely awesome. And it came with an extra in case you lose the little rubber doodad that goes in there. It came with an extra. So that's what came with it, besides the instructions and that kind of goodies. Now I'll run you through a few of its options and features. Um, and in the meantime, I'll try to sprinkle in a little bit of this and that, a little bit of knowledge, things I've learned. Now there's a couple versions of the E8. And by the way, Rovivon has a ton of really cool flashlights. I've been checking them out. And this is this is the, the warm white version, which is 4,000K, and then there's the cool white, which is 6,500K. This one's 500 lumens, the other one's 700. I would swear this is 700. I mean, not that I can tell with my eyeballs, but this sucker, I'll do a little clip and show you, it lights up the backyard and the trees and all that. So if I push the button, you're gonna see that it's flashing blue. That means that it's locked. I hit it four times and it's flashing green. That means we're ready to go, baby. Now, if I just click it once, it's gonna put us on moonlight mode, which is uh, around five lumens, I believe. And then click it again and you're off. Now to turn it on to the last mode that I had it, you double click it. It's that simple. The low is 10 lumens, then it brumps up, brumps up? <laughs> it brumps up to 70 lumens, and then again is, I mean, you can't even tell for the sake of this video how bright that is. It's 500, 500, 500 lumens, and then you click it and it cycles back down. You hold it, and you're back off again. And if you take it out of your pocket or you, you have it on your keychain and you want it in instant torch mode and it's not locked, you just hold it down and it's pow right in the kisser. All 500 or 700 lumens, whichever one you have. And then it's it's right back off again. So it's it's very functional as far as needing a bright light just for whatever real quickly. And here is a really cool feature, which I hadn't told you about. I'm glad I remembered. I have a couple notes, but you know, I like to go, I like to fly by the seat of my pants. So one of the things that really attracted to me this, to this, to this light is the fact that it's a hybrid. So it has the 330 mAh internal battery. And then over here, you can put a regular or a rechargeable AAA. How about that? How about those apples? How about dim apples? So when you turn it on and you're on moonlight mode, if you look here, when I turn it off, when I turn it on, blue means I'm on the internal battery. And then when it's on, you triple click and it goes over to green. That's telling me that I'm using my auxiliary battery or the battery that I added. Click it again and you're back off. Turn it on, triple click, and you're back over to here. Now something that's really cool is that it'll automatically, if whichever battery you're on, if it gets too low, it'll automatically switch to the other battery. I think that's an awesome feature. Let me give you an up nice and close look, a little bit of texture vision. It does have a little bit of that texturing, a little bit of that, uh, I don't know, kind of the orange peel effect, which is very nice, very, very nice. Going all the way around, you can see we have side lights. Now you can get one with the red light. And you can also get this one. This one has the UV UV light. And somewhere in here, I'll put a little clip of me using that. And the UV light is very, imp very impressive. Very impressive indeed. <laughs> and then they have a really nice logo going on up here. I'm not sure what this material is made of. I mean, I would take, it's not magnetic. I mean, it's possible it could be titanium. I'm not sure. I didn't see it on the website, but this clip is super strong. You either have to have a little something to, to open it up or some really strong fingernails, or I happen to have one that has a very strong clip. Now there's a strobe coming up. So warning for all you that are photosensitive, you give it a triple click, one, two, three, and pow, 
and it, it is uh it is quite it i'll go ahead and turn it off now <laughs> but it goes really fast and then it slows down and then fast it's kind of uh to catch someone's eye if you're using it as a strobe to catch attention now the side leds super easy you just push the button and you're on low Push it again, and you're on pa pow You're on the high mode on the side, which is really nice. You can set it down when you're doing some work. And, wow, I mean, that is bright. <laughs> you don't need it that bright. Um, you know, well, that that's neither here nor there how bright you need a flashlight. Considering how, how many lights I have and what I use them for, uh, yeah, we won't go there. But you can have it on its side using it for whatever, and it's very convenient. It's nice that you can set it flat and have the light going horizontal. Now, give it, give it a double click. And you have the blue light, which really lights up. If you have uh, like black, anything black light that you want to light up, or if you want to check currency, or you know maybe you're going to Mattel and you want, <laughs> and you do you really want to see what's on? <laughs> we won't go there. You hold it down and then you're back off. Now a few a few of the few things to note since I've had this for a while and I've been able to carry it. The fifth pocket is a really great way to carry it. I've carried my fifth pocket with and without the clip, and it's very comfortable. Um, I've pocket dropped it. I've carried it in my left pocket. I've carried it in my back pocket. Um, this is great uh, for the ladies. If you have a purse, if you carry a purse or any kind of EDC bag, it's it doesn't have a wide profile. You can see right here, it's like around about two and a half inches. It's not very long, not very wide. It's just an inch wide, and it's not very thick either. You're right there at about a half an inch. So it doesn't take up a big space. If you're not big on having the big round flashlights in your pocket, it's it's actually pretty comfortable. And size-wise, here's a Victorinox Classic SD, and then here's a Victorinox Tinker. So if you have a one of these Victorinox Swiss Army knives, that'll give you an idea. If we we me and my wife both have a collection of the classic SDs, and you can see size-wise, it's not as big as it might look in in pictures, in the pictures, in the moving pictures. But I have to say, I really do enjoy it. I like it. It's very comfortable. It's easy to use. It's intuitive. It's very flashy. <laughs> But you give it a couple clicks and then you're on. I just have to remember when I'm on, on camera not to triple click it. I just about had a freak out moment there. But double click it and you go back to the brightness you were on. Hold it down and you're off. So if you have it on low and then you double click it, you're back here. So say I have it on high and then I turn it off. The next time I use it, double click it and I'm back to high right where I had it. So if, the, if you have a setting that you prefer, it's going to take you back to that setting every time. So I really enjoy it. I like it. These, uh, by the way, until November 13th, Rovivon's having a sale, like a fifth anniversary sale. I was on their site earlier today, but I'll put links in the description where you can check this out. And I'll probably put links into the description to the other, some of the other items you've seen here. But let me know if you enjoy this and you want to see some more torch or flashlight or EDC materials, things that I've carried, things that I enjoy. But make sure you go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you in the live or the hive streams on Friday nights, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.